Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing all of my favourites for spring, these glorious months. I can never choose a favourite season but if you held my hand behind my back and forced me to, it might well be spring. So if you want to know what I reach for, what I favour, what I choose the most, during these upcoming spring months, then keep watching. Okay, so kicking us off with fragrance, I chose two fragrances today to share with you that I just feel like they are so perfect for this time of year. Spring here in England or in where I live is a lot of glorious sunny days for me. That's what we get. It's my daughter's birthday. We always go away a little bit in the spring. So we get a lot of great weather, a lot of sunny days, but it's still very mild. So you can do really whatever you like. There's nothing that's not going to work for spring. You know, I, it's a very easy going month on makeup. You know, winter, your skin can be a bit dry. Summer, we can get a bit warm. Oil production goes up. Spring, it's like anything goes. But there are certain things that just feel so springy to me. First up, let's talk about this crystal saffron fragrance from Mattier. Oh my. I haven't worn this for a little while just because I feel like it's a fragrance you could wear all year round, but it's not a, it doesn't speak to me so much as a winter fragrance because it's not a warm spicy, which is typically what I want to wear in autumn and winter. So I haven't reached this a lot, but as soon as someone says the word spring to me, I'm picking this up. It's probably my most spring fragrance that I would say. It's so glorious. I'm a big saffron lover. As soon as I see a saffron note in a fragrance, it's going in my basket. I just love saffron as a note in fragrance. Obviously, this fragrance is saffron. That's all it is. It's very linear. It's a stunning saffron scent. If you don't like saffron, <laughs> obviously don't buy this. I love it and it has never disappointed. It's so fresh and light and airy, but a little sweet and a little sexy as well. Such a wearable fragrance. I get a lot of compliments. It's very clean and I'm not someone who really likes clean fragrances typically, but this one, oh, it's just divine. It is going to be a love-hate depending on your relationship with saffron, but for me, I'm a saffron girl all the way, and so I adore it. The other fragrance that I have chosen as another spring perfect fragrance is Parfums de Mali's Altair. <sighs> Never have I regretted more not buying the larger bottle. I don't know why I didn't. I, well, I do know why I didn't. I really didn't expect to love this, to be honest. I didn't really know what to make of the notes. The early reviews were a little confusing. I thought this was going to be much more citrusy than it is. And I also thought it might be more gourmand than it is. Neither of those things really are like my typical type of fragrance that I like. So I went on the side of caution let me tell you, I feel like I'm going to use this up. I can't really see. Oh my God, I can. It's literally to the horse's knees is where we've got to. And this is quite new. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. This is absolutely a year round fragrance. I've been wearing this basically non-stop since it came into my life a month or so ago. And I can't see that stopping, but it does feel a little, if I had to like nail down a season this works per like better for it would probably be spring because it is still like sexy and a little sweet and very like warming and cozy so that's what and that's typically what I love in a fragrance but because of the citrusy fruity like hints that it's got in there it's also totally wearable in spring and summer so if you are like me you are a warm spicy girl you like you like caramel notes, you like vanilla, ambroxan, woodsy notes, but you want something that's a bit easier to wear in the warmer months, this is such a good option because it is wearable all year round, all season, any time of day. It's never going to become cloying or too much or too heavy, but you'll still be satisfied. Your like tickle for something warm and cozy and spicy will be satisfied with this, that itch will be scratched, but everyone else will still be able to breathe. It's so stunning, such a special scent. 
my favourite nail varnish as we move towards these warmer months. Data Peach by OPI. I mean, I feel like it goes with my whole vibe today. I've tried my best to be very springy today, although I'm not quite ready for it yet, but I've thrown myself headfirst into it for the purpose of today's video. And I went over to my OPI stand with all my nail varnishes on, and there wasn't even a thought in my head when I saw Data Peach. I was like, it's Data Peach. That's the most spring nail varnish you could ever get, no? As usual, I wish I'd worn it today, but like I said, I'm just not really really quite ready for spring yet. But it's just the perfect peach because I'm not, as you can tell, someone who wears a lot of bright nail varnishes, but this one is just, it's peachy and it's kind of bright, but in a very wearable way, which I really like. It's a little more muted of a peach and it has that sort of metallic, but not glitter finish, which I really love, perfect for spring. You know, it's like dipping a toe in spring, but still staying a little on the safer side. Next, let's talk about a foundation that I have recently rediscovered, and I don't know what happened as to why I undiscovered it, but it's back with a bang, and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. It's the foundation I'm wearing today. I, I know what happened. I started thinking about refilming my foundation rankings, so I watched the last one I did, which was nearly two years ago, can you believe it? <laughs> I have been slacking off. And this foundation, I think, was in third place, or it might have been even in second place. And to be fair, Lots of foundations have come out since that video, so it was natural that there's been movement and this might have been bumped down a few spots. But I was like, oh my God, I need to go back and try that again. And <laughs> what have I been doing? Because I love it. It's so beautiful. I think I got swayed because I think I'm the only one who loves it. Not a lot of people love it as much as me. I feel like a lot of reviews didn't get along with it as well as I did, but I love this foundation. It feels nice and light and hydrating. It's got the most stunning finish and glow. It's got a really easy going flexible coverage. I can get a solid medium. I can build up to a full coverage and it just embodies spring to me. It's got that juicy, glowy, fresh, really, you know, fresh as a daisy, fresh as a spring lamb with a, a tail that just won't quit. That's what I feel like this foundation reminds me of. Yet it doesn't have SPF. What a treat because not everybody wants that in every foundation, you know? Especially these sort of glowier, hydrating, tube-like foundations. They always have SPF, don't they? This one doesn't. I love it. I'm capable of putting my own SPF on. Thank you, foundation companies. And I love it. It makes me feel fresh, hydrated. It keeps me cool. You know, I don't feel like heavy. I don't feel like suffocated by makeup if the days are longer and warmer. I think it's gorgeous and it's going to be getting a lot more wear around here now I've remembered it exists. <laughs> Dummy. Now, I don't know that you can say a mascara is like spring related or in any way seasonally related, but I'm going to say it, okay? Try and stop me. Who's Who can? There's no one else here. <laughs> but in spring, I like a sort of lighter, softer, pretty eye look. And I feel like the mascara I've got on today with that separated, fanned out, spikier lash with more length and lift than volume is just perfect for spring because it looks very fresh and youthful to me. Is that just me? I feel like this is such a weird thing to say, but it's benefits roller lash. It just really opens my eyes and it gives me, again, that fresh as a daisy, spring-like look. Lighter, easier going, more daytime, you know, fresher somehow. Is, am I mad? I mean, yes, but when I'm talking about mascara being a spring mascara. In winter, I feel like my eyeshadow is kind of darker, richer. So I need like a more voluminous, dramatic lash. Whereas when I'm moving into spring, everything becomes a little lighter. And I mean that when it comes to textures and weights, but also when it comes to shades and tones. So I just feel like a lighter, fluttery, more separated, lifted, pretty lighter lash. Do you see where I'm going? It makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense. Yeah, benefit roller lash for spring. <laughs> Huzzah. Now let's move on to a couple of eyeshadow palettes. First up, I don't, again, I don't know if this is gonna be a really weird inclusion here, but it makes sense to me. It's Natasha Denona's Retro Palette. Is that? Yes, it is. <laughs> Retro Glam. 
I was close. Retro Glam, this is the eyeshadow that I've got on today. I don't know if many people are gonna agree with me that this is spring appropriate. What do you think? I literally, this screams spring at me. It's the little touches of pastels, the sort of lighter pinky mauves, along with, again, lighter greens. We're starting to see the grass coming back. I've got a whole garden of grass for the first time in months, and it's all light and fresh and dewy. And that's what this gives me. This is like my garden, exactly this. There's not a huge amount of flowers yet, so we're not talking super colorful, but we've got fresh, luscious grass that's growing in. The plants, while they may not have quite flowered just yet, they're looking alive still, okay? The trees are getting leaves back on them, that's what this is saying to me. I don't know about you, but I just love it. Today, I used the two sort of mauve shades. I did a, a little bit of Marlin and Palladian and a bit of Flutter over the top. And I was loving it. And I feel very spring today. And I think this works in a much less, like, obviously spring way. You know, I really thought about including the original Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk, but as it's, like, discontinued or it's disappeared forever... I thought, no, I want to include one that you guys can get with ease. And this, to me, although it's not a very obvious, oh, it's all peaches and corals spring, it feels very appropriate and easygoing for this time of year in a slightly more out-of-the-box way. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, I did include this palette, although you might not be able to get hold of it. And I, I'm okay. If you want to hate me forever for it, I accept it, okay? That I've made my bed. I have to lie in it. That's the way it is. But I had to include this. I had to. If you already have this, some of you might already have it, okay? Some of you might be able to find it somewhere. If you can, it's the Louvre by Lancôme Richelieu Wing palette. This shade in here in particular, I mean, or this shade, as a single one and done shadow in spring, excuse me, she's perfect. She's just the perfect one and done spring shadow, as could be the lighter pink, depending on what you're going for. It's that pretty sheen. I mean, that is a combination all over the eyes, glorious. I mean, the green I know is really scary looking to lots of people, but it has such a pretty shift. And again, a little bit of that lightened up maybe with one of the lighter shadows over the top. I love to do that. I think that would work beautifully. The highlighter, I mean, I've never needed something in single form more. It's such a beautiful, soft, pretty, light, silky, highlighter so flipping beautiful and elegant and soft and pretty I love everything about this palette and again it's one that people will probably say what do you mean spring that's autumn or something but I think this is absolutely springy to me it screams spring and also I would wear these this on the cheeks and actually this shade as well and that even more so lends itself to springtime fun you know, treat yourself. Another product that I forget about because it was limited edition, but I know so many of you probably have this in a drawer somewhere and maybe you've forgotten about it as well. So I'm here to remind you about this bad boy. Hello, how have you been? I'm spring in a compact. This is the Fleur de Printemps from Chanel. I think, what, what are we saying? I'd like to say it was last spring, but I it's probably been two. I'm not being funny. It's spring in a duo. It's This is a blush and highlight duo. Right now, the highlighter is more of a blush on me, but in summer, it would be a straight highlighter. It's just gloriously pretty and soft and glowy and fresh and a little peachy and divine and I absolutely love this. I like using them swell together as a glowy glorious cheek. Absolutely stunning. You've got a kind of option for something more matte, something more glowy, mix them together, something a little in between you know, depending on your mood. It's such a glorious compact. I know it's annoying because it's limited edition and it's gone, but if you already have it, whip it out. I dare you, I, I need you to do it. Whip it out and whack it on. You Thank me later. You're ready for spring, done. But fear not because I have 
three other options for Le Chiques that you can get. I'm going to promise you that you can get all of these easily. So hold your horses before you block me. First up, Coral Glow from Dior. This is a very recent purchase of mine. I don't know what happened, why I haven't owned this for years, because this is very obviously right up my street. This is actually a highlighter, but one with, you know, enough colour that on a lighter skin tone can be a blush. So for me, I can build this up and get quite a lot of blush out of it right now. And it's just so gloriously glowy and springy. In spring, I, I mean, I love them all year round but especially in spring, a, a blushing highlight, highlighting blush, which way around is it? A highlighting blush, a glowy, sheeny, peachy, corally maybe blush, get out of town. I don't need anything else. I mean, I do, but you see what I'm saying? It just, it immediately, I can do whatever else I want with my eyes and my lips. If I've got a glowing blush like this all over the cheeks, that's super, super juicy, glowy skin, I look like a spring dream and it just takes one product. Another option for these, if you don't know about these, these are so underrated, Max Extra Dimension Blushes. If you are a glowy blush gal or gent, get involved in these. If you don't know about these, look at that. Look at that shine. And it doesn't look sparkly or glittery. It looks very smooth when blended in. It's one of these sort of formulas that it gets smoother and glowier as you apply it. It's so beautiful and they have such pretty shades. This one and fairly, this is fairly precious. And the other one that I absolutely love is Just A Pinch, which is a, just a pinch deeper than this one. So yeah, depending on your skin tone will depend which one you prefer. But I mean, they are just glorious glowy cheeks, no need for highlighter really pretty spring shades. You can't go wrong. Another great option for this type of product that's like a glowing cheek in one is, I mean, RMS blushes in general. This shade, Bohemian Girl, it's like corally, pinky, glorious goodness in one. It is a little more pink than I typically go for, but it's so pretty and lighter that I don't mind. I'm not intimidated by it. It's so juicy, cheeky, flirty, fun, you know, in a blush. Is that possible? I think it is. Let me know. But again, just it's just so pretty. And it's again, any of these sort of blushes that have all of that glow to them, you don't need to do anything else. You know, whack on some mascara and any one of these blushes and you're going to look like spring, a spring day and just gloriousness of that. I just can't wait. Another option along these lines is uh, this bad boy. This at the moment on me, I can just about get a bit of blush out of it. This is the Chanel Symbols in Precious Coral. I'm just living for this. This came out when I had like a fair bit of color to my skin. So it was very much just a highlighter on me. But in the last few months, as my skin tone is completely in winter, I can get a little subtle blush out of it, which I've been living for because it's my dream blush. Just a hint of peachiness or coral to it, but really glowy in such a smooth way. I will whack this all over my whole face if I could. I think you can just about track these down still, but it won't be long, you have been warned. That is like, potentially my favorite of all time highlighter. And now for a couple of lip shades, another product that, you know, whack the right lipstick on and you're instantly in the correct season, aren't you? This is the lipstick I'm wearing today and it's Coral Delight from Dior, the Addict formula. You guys know how much I'm obsessed with this formula. Previously, my all time favorite shade, especially for spring was Mimi Rose. And I still love that one, but Coral Delight has just pipped it to the post for my new favorite because it's just that little bit deeper. So Mimi Rose, especially in summer, is, is a little too light for me. So I either need a liner or in, in the depths of winter, it's okay. But when it starts to get to spring, 
it starts to be a little too light for me. This is just that hair bit deeper, which makes it perfect. It's so like popsicle lips, you know, that was a trend or it's a trend currently. Like you've had just had a lolly and it's kind of making your lips all juicy and staining them a little bit. That's the vibe that this lipstick gives me. So pretty, so easy to wear, so perfect for spring. And I don't know about you, but my lips are still coming out of like the winter horror show that they've been through, very, very dry and chapped. So they do very much appreciate a really comfortable, light feeling formula, which this is just exactly that. And the second option for something a little brighter is of course, Lisa Eldridge's Go Lightly if you're feeling like you want just a little bit more of a pop of colour but you still want that juicy you know lolly lips look this is ideal you can really tailor these you can add a little bit of something a little bit of a wash of colour or you can build it up to a more opaque amount of coverage and it's just so pretty and I love this shade so much I feel like it's so special and yes I'm still using mine even though it's years old now but I have a I know that's coming back at some point. I know it's coming back. You can get the gloss if that helps you. I know Lisa's bringing out a brand new lip formula very, very soon. So I have high hopes that we might see go a return to from Go Lightly very, very soon. I'm sure it's coming this year. It has to, I mean, it's glorious. So there you have it. Those are all of my spring favorites. Let me tell you, it smells incredible in here now and I feel ready. I feel much more ready for spring than I did at the beginning of this video. So fantastic, let's go. I'm ready, I'm ready for spring now. Please, as always, let me know what your favorite products are for spring, what you can't wait to start using, if there are any products that you don't really use in winter that you're excited to get out again, please let me know in the comment section down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now, bye 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 bye.